Welcome to the Real Andy of Beverly Hills Show. Mm -mm, girl, we need to talk because the real housewife of Beverly Hills is here and that premiere was everything i needed to rewatch the episode like three times just to like put my myself together you know because i have been waiting for this new season for so long and i just i just have some thoughts girl i just have some thoughts and and we need to talk about it but before we start welcome back i'm the real andy of beret hills and welcome to another day another piece of T, if you are new here, welcome to the Beverly Troop where I keep it real and I mention it all. So if you want to know what is happening inside of the Bravoverse with the pop culture streets and more, well, you know what to do. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And girl, before we start, we need to give a shout out to our partners of this video and other people from Rose Forever. Rose Forever are amazing, beautiful, real roses that last up to a year. Girl, if you want to get your bouquet now, especially with the holidays coming, like literally around the corner, well, go to my link on the description below. And just by clicking on my link, you will get 20% off your order, okay? Guys, they have different colors, different size, different shapes. They ship everyone around the world. Go and get your roses from Rose Forever right now. Okay, guys, let's talk about this uh, mess. Girl, we have been talking about Beverly Hills for a while. And I and I I was very worried, you know, like for a very long time, especially at the beginning. I was like, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know what is going to happen. Um, there was like few you know reports during the filming there were things that we kind of like knew here and there you know but like um the reports in general were very much like they don't know how people are going to be reacting to this season you know and uh, and i get it you know i get it um they really kind of like wanted it to like have some kind of like bang you know or change on the storyline somehow you know to like really captivate people again Look, Iberry Hills, you know, it has been, it has a very special place in my heart because it has been my favorite franchise ever. You know, I love Berry Hills. Even the most boring seasons, I love Berry Hills. You know, I have a, a place in my heart for these ladies. And I really, like, really enjoy it. But, of course, we need to be critics here. And if something is not working, then, of course, you have to call it out, you know. We, can, we are coming from Diana Jenkins to 8.5, and it's kind of like, what the hell are you doing over here, right? Um, and now we have this season, you know? And I was very worried at the beginning. We heard so many things. Uh, I heard some things about uh, Bosoma Signon, you know? I heard about their relationship between the ladies. Uh, and I was like, okay, okay, I, I like that the ladies are getting along, you know, and I like that the ladies are kind of like in a in a good space. But is that going to translate into good TV? You know, we know that they reach out to several housewives because at some point they didn't feel that there was like really something powerful going on, you know, or strong enough to continue the story, you know, and they were kind of like reaching out to a lot of ex-housewives. To be like, can you please come film, do something almost like for free, right? Um, so I was I was a little bit worried. Now, going into the first season, I can tell you that, and the first season, the first episode, I can tell you that it has a strong presence for now, you know? Uh, of course, the Dorit situation, the separation, all of that, and Dorit becoming this girl again who doesn't give a fuck about anything or anyone and is literally going to be, like, fighting for her diamond all, 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 the, all, all along the way, you know? It really, it's, it, it's going to give that extra spark that we were needing, you know? Um, it's, I think we're going to be seeing the same Dorit that turned on Lisa Vanderbilt. You know, I'm not saying that this is a good thing, 
personally for the ladies, especially for Kyle, I think it's going to be very hard because they're going to be feeling the, 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 the backstab. You know, they're going to be feeling like this girl is not my friend. And who knows if she was ever really her friend. You know what I mean? Uh, at the end of the day, Dorit is going to think only about herself. You know, I mean, there was part of this uh, episode that I was like, oh, this must have been filmed right after Bravo told her, like, bitch, you better do something or you or, or you're going to be losing your diamond. You know, we already know that she was offered a crappy contract. We already know that she was told, like, if she didn't was if she wasn't open about her marriage and about her relationships and about everything else, that she was just going to lose the diamond forever. And if she's going to be moving into the divorce town, she's going to need have coins so of course she's gonna like bring all of her big guns of course she's gonna be like fuck it all you know i mean you have kyle here like okay yes let's be friends but like it's kyle really gonna need you on your time of really really need especially financially i don't think that it's gonna happen so i think that's why dorit is just saying like fuck it all you know however i am not really happy with the situation and i have to tell you you know i do like kyle richards i think i mean Watching her this first episode was was so hard because it was kind of like back to like the honest Kyle that we used to know before, you know, and she's kind of like trying to figure things out, you know, trying to uh, deal with the whole Morgan Wade situation the best that she can. And now she has to deal with this friend who is just going to go full force against her. Like, you know, that Dorit is not going to let this rest. Because this is her storyline. And I think Kyle is seasoned enough to know a, a thirsty storyline when you see one, you know? So I think from the beginning, Kyle is already saying, saying like, oh, Dorit is, this is it. This is this, that Dorit is just going to come for me all season. And I think we can see all of those thoughts going on um, through her mind. And at the same time, she's dealing with like Mauricio li li leaving the home. Her daughter is leaving the home, you know? the whole Morgan Wade situation, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I think it's a lot of stress for Kyle, which is why I'm so happy that Kathy is back into the mix, you know. Kathy Hilton has said it best. Like, I am not here just because of Kyle, because Kyle definitely can take care, take care of herself. But of course, she's there because she wants to also offer a support to Kyle during all of this uh, process. You know what I mean? And, and and I think it's very important to see these two sisters leaning on each other during this time because Kyle is definitely going to need it. Okay? You we all know an activated Dorit. We know that she's not gonna care. She already start. You know, she already start calling Kyle names, planting seeds around, you know. Some of the fans are already kind of like the viewers are already kind of like, you know, picking up those seeds, you know. And it's like girl i think my thing here it's kind of like the same like new jersey you know it's kind of like are you really gonna be on team dorit because you believe that she is right or are you just going to be on team dorit because you don't like Kyle richard you know because those are two different things and that's that's a, a distinction that i personally can do you know I don't like the way that Dorit is behaving. I don't think that, the, that, I think that Kyle was a good friend to Dorit for many, many years. And I don't like that she is just out of desperation for money, for coins, for Bravo check, for, for a diamond, you know, that she's going to be, well, like, fuck you, Kyle. You know what I mean? I think that's a desperate move. And I, I don't know. I think it's going to, to be very honest with you, I think it's going to give us a great season. You know, we're going to be talking a lot about this, but I don't know if it's going to be enough for, for them to bring her back next season. You know what I mean? So I don't know, but we're still very, very soon. You know, uh, there is, it is always a pleasure to see my girl Satan back. I think Satan has blossomed into an amazing housewife, you know? I think Satan, uh, she came, she came into the show like the, like the, the, the quirky girl, you know, like the, the girl who didn't know how to communicate, the girl who was making mistakes, the girl who was kind of like finding herself in life. And she has evolved in our eyes season after season after season. You know what I mean? 
And now we see a Sutton who is very in power, you know, and who is ready to, she's, she is a boss bitch, you know, who is ready to embrace that she is a real housewife, you know. She has money, she's classy, she's messy, she is not afraid of asking questions, she's not afraid to go in there. And also having the addition of having her friend Jennifer Tilly going into the mix, it's an explosion that it really, like, it's really good because Jennifer, and especially if you saw the after show, doesn't give a shit about anything, you know? She's like, I don't give a shit about all these bitches, I'm gonna be like saying things as they are, and she's not acting thirsty whatsoever. Something that I cannot say about Bosoma St. John, you know? I think she is rooting into this Dory train too hard without any information. And that is a dangerous thing to do. We have seen housewives do this before. They attach to someone without any explanation, without, you know, really knowing the past, without really knowing the, the, the relationships. And it's kind of like, just like, okay, let's see. And the new one, let's see who, which housewife is going to talk to me, you know? And okay, this happened to be the first one. Now we are BFF. I'm going to defend you. Like, like, bur like girl, you, we are sisters, you know? And it's like, girl, you need to really watch the show or like understand or at least have conversations around to understand where is this going from. But Bosoma, it's already going so hard for Dorit, you know, and like she's already defending her left and right. She's Bosoma is already shading Sutton, shading Kyle, shading Garcelle, you know, and it's kind of like why what is the reason you know like you don't even know dorit you have known dorit for five minutes and you're gonna come here and say like oh i'm a great like reader like i know who is good and who is bad if you really know that you know i'm not saying that dorit is bad you know i'm just saying you need to understand who you are dealing with do you know the rumors do you know uh, the allegations Do you know everything that has been going around what is happening with pk what has happened with Kyle, you know, how she has behaved in the past with all of the other housewives, you know, it, those are things that at this point are kind of important, you know, because if Dorit end up going down and you attach yourself to that boat is going to take you down with it, you know, so I will be more like you want to support Dorit, go do it, support Dorit, but don't give blind loyalty, you know. Don't be, don't be like that, you know, like, oh my God, whatever you want. Yes, yes, yes. Please just, please just have me around because you have been a housewife for so long. No, get yourself a chance to know everyone, to create relationships with everyone, to really make up your own mind. Even if that means that down the, down, down the way, you have to throw the read apart, you know, doesn't matter because you have to, this is a game. This is a solo game in an ensemble, you know? So at the end of the day, you need to fight for yourself. That's what I'm thinking, you know. Garcelle, I am so proud of Garcelle. I think she did. She is also an amazing mom, an amazing boss bitch. You know, the things that she has been doing. Uh, so inspirational. Inspirational? Is that the word? Latino moment. But you know what I mean, yeah. Like, the fact is that, you know, she is working. She's in her 50s. She's having the best time of her life. He's probably dating around. She's doing all of these things, you know, that it kind of like, it's really showing, I think one of the purpose of this show is also showing women of any age that there is not a timestamp, you know, that you can do whatever you want at any stage of your life, you know, and, and, and Garcelle is, you know, the perfect, like, you know, image for that. So I'm really happy for that. Um, who else we have over here? Um, you know, my opinions of Erica are very limited, so I'm just going to keep it like that. Period. You know? And um, who else? I mean, Miss Kathy Hilton, again, I have to tell you, that intro, that's why Kathy Hilton is Kathy Hilton. Girl, that's why she she has, she exudes this classness and, 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 and money and power, and she's just like, so effortless, you know, and and the fact that she's there, you know, like letting Dorit just walk around the house, like I don't care, I'm just here getting my treatments, girl. I was like, this is what I want on a housewife, you know. This is what we need, and she's also not afraid of asking questions. She's also like, you know, 
having fun. Kathy Hilton is the perfect friend of a housewife. You know, like, like this is what all friends should, you know, aim. Like, this is, this is your goal, being like Kathy Hilton. You know what I mean? Um, what else? Who else is, is here? I think the only thing, I, I, and I have to say this, and I'm not, you know, I'm not going to drag it, but I do miss Crystal. I think Crystal was uh, uh, very necessary this season, but uh, because I think she wouldn't have, she wouldn't have been a great support for Kyle, and she wouldn't be have going hard against the room, you know? And I think it was a mistake not bringing uh, Crystal back. And I'm going to miss her. I'm definitely going to miss her. Um, and that's it, guys. So let me know what you guys think on the comments below. How are you feeling with the first episode? And, yep, if you want to get all the tea related to The Real House of Beverly Hills or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.